They are teaching tools and they are teachers in themselves, both in our classes and outside the classes. Students can come in and play with them and handle them and learn about them. Um, the animals are important to me because it allows me to experience things you can't like see in a classroom. But uh, it's given me a lot of opportunities to kind of you know explore different avenues and explore different paths and um, you know be able to just kind of get involved and be around kind of cool stuff like this. We have uh, one press that's known as a uh, Franklin Press or also known as a Reliance Press. That's from 1897. So when students get a little familiarity with um, some of the, the intro processes, then we kind of introduce them to that press. So it's kind of an interesting tool for them to use because we've had it on campus for um, over 100 years. So it, it kind of connects us to the past and connects us to past instructors and past students. such a small community of, of students and uh, professors. It's kind of corny, but it's like a family. Uh, and in a sense, it's great that I have students that I might have in, a, say, a drawing course or a printmaking course or even a history course. And then kind of through, their, through the years, I get to see them uh, progress and become you know, more, more developed as a student and as an artist.